Hi, my name is Vishusika. I made a video for my talk. Let's watch. Hi, my name is Vishu Sikha. I'm 16 years old and a junior in high school. My talk is about learning. Not what we learn, but rather how we learn. Being a student and learning is all about acquiring new skills. In fact, according to the dictionary, learning is defined as to gain knowledge or understanding of or to gain skin in by study, instruction or experience. Here are some pictures of people learning in different ways. But is that really how we learn? Now think of something that you are really good at, that you love to do. And ask yourself, how did you learn it? How you became so good at it? And why don't we learn everything that way? I want to share with you my journey and what I learned about learning. As I learned new skins, so what is it about my journey that makes it different? Well, when I was five years old, I had a vocabulary of three words. I could not read, write, or even hone things properly. I could not ride a bike, play any games, talk to anyone, or do anything that children my, my age were doing. I was in this world, but not really participating in it. Doctors and other professionals painted a bleak and difficult picture of the journey ahead and my future. They used to say that I would barely be able to talk and would likely never be able to do most of the things that other children learn to do. Experts said that I, that I may never be able to swim or surf or ski, play music, play tennis or drive. Today, nine years later, I can do all of these. I can swim surf, ski, and play tennis. I love to dance and to ride the bike. I speak three languages, English, German, and Hindi. I passed the piano musician's exams five years in a row. And yes, I can drive. I got my driver's license two months ago. I am a proud junior in one of the best high schools in this area, and I can do most of the things that my friends can. And something that even they are yet to learn. Yes, I was born different. I am different. And I've learned all these skills differently. Learning is not easy for me. And so it is really critical for me to get better at the art of learning. Improving my ability to learn is, is one of my biggest missions. As I look back on my journey of learning these last nine years, I realized that I did not learn many of these skills by reading books or sitting in classrooms. I learned these by doing. I have been reflecting on what worked best for me. And I want to share four key points with you. To make my first point, let me ask you a question. Do you remember when you tried to learn to ride a bike or when you learned swimming? Training wheels on a bike were meant to support me but after a while it became a roadblock. So was my swimming vest. Any, any time I started to learn a new skill, I discovered that I needed support and help, in a, and help in a focused way in the beginning. A safety harness, just enough for me to take off but not to become a permanent crutch. When I was learning to swim, I remembered the hands of my swim teacher always around me, ready to catch me if I dropped. All my learning has been like this. In all the skills I learned, the teachers tried to make sure that I, what I was doing was neither too challenging for me nor too boring. It was just right. We learn very well when we start small and safe, safely and gradually challenge ourselves and build up from there. My second point is about learning by doing. Do you remember how you learned a foreign language or a musical instrument or some art? We learned all these by doing, by immersing ourselves with all our senses into the skin we are trying to learn. Learning and practicing this way also makes it very enjoyable. Why can't our learning be fun like this? I learned German in Germany, where I used to go every summer for many years. I learned Hindi by immersing myself in Hindi movies and TV shows on YouTube. 
I have learned the piano and cooking the same way. Surgeons, pilots, and astronauts, musicians and artists, engineers and makers, athletes, all learn by doing, by practicing. I started thinking about my own learning one day when my dad asked me what learning means to me. And I, and I replied, learning means training. So training with all our senses by doing is very important to learn anything. My third point is that we learn best when we give ourselves enough time to learn. Do you remember your most enjo enjoyable learning experience? For me, learning was fun whenever the pressure of time was removed. It takes me longer to do things. So I succeeded at those things where I had enough time to try again and again until I succeeded. I discovered my love and interest in cars and automobiles because I was able to give it plenty of time. I learned to drive by practicing up and down my driveway hundreds of times over months. I also got better at math and Hindi the same way. There are many students in a class who really understand things very quickly and many who don't. Why can't everyone learn at their own pace with enough time? Why must we be, why must we be bound? by what we can or cannot learn by a certain age or grade. Do you have the will, the desire to learn something new? Do you have the courage to keep trying to learn the skill without worrying about failure? This brings me to my fourth and most important point. The will to learn and how strong is this will? Do you know what it feels like to fail over and over again? I did at almost everything that I tried in the beginning. And it was okay, because everyone expected me to fail. But I never gave up. I wanted to learn and improve my skill. And removing the fear of failure really helped me to learn. I kept trying to surf for a long time without success. But I was able to stand up on the board only when I abandoned my fear of falling. When I overcame my natural instinct to look down. And instead looked at the shore where I wanted to go. We should all learn from our failures and think of them as stepping stones to success. Don't let the fear of failure determine what or how you learn. Throughout my journey of learning, I had encouragement to keep getting better. I always had my teachers and especially my mom guiding me, cheering me on, and this gave me courage to not give up. When we are into something and have a lot of support for it, we really learn things well. I believe I can learn anything this way, and perhaps everyone can learn this way. If you immerse yourself in an activity, stay interested and engaged because the topic challenge you just said, take your time and don't get deterred by failure. You will be okay. Do you agree? Our future will see a lot of changes, new technologies, new skills, and these changes will happen faster and faster. Learning to learn is the most important skill for students to be successful in the future. So we need new ways to learn. I know that I don't have to learn for my entire life. So learning how to learn is very, very important to me. The team of this TEDx is trainblazers. Trainblazers are pioneers, innovators, people who are the first to do great things. But to do great things, we have to first learn to do these things. I am a trainblazer because I am learning new skills and also improving how I learn. And with learning new skills that no one thought we could, anyone can be a trainblazer. So are you ready to be a trainblazer? On the best. Thank you, thank you very much.